Can you believe, well, the opinion polls confirmed what we already know. There is going to be a smashing victory for the Conservatives in the best part of 90 days time from now. Exciting stuff if you want to see this government come to an end. But also, what about the figure? Not that Kevin Rudd's going to be leader or not, who cares about that? What about the gender gap? Support for the ALP in the past couple of weeks has gone down by 7% with blokes. Men have abandoned the party. So can you imagine this? Exactly what type of genius is around Julia Gillard or Julia Gillard's genius herself that when there are only 29% of people willing to support your party that you give the middle finger to at least half of those people? desperately hoping that for every bloke who leaves, two women will be replaced. Well, it doesn't work like that. It's the brand, it's the government, it's the vibe that means people don't want to back in the Labor Party. So why would you go off on the adventure of the misogyny and the blue ties and blokes are bad that we've had in the past couple of days? Why would we have all of that garbage? Well, the net result, 7% of people. 7% of blokes who have been willing to defend this government through all of its scandals, all of its shames and all of its mistakes. The past week, the misogyny week marked 7.7. .7. That was too much for them. They have sat through everything. They have supported this party for three years. And the past week was the straw that broke the camel's back. Could this please be a lesson to the Prime Minister and the geniuses around her? That if you play the gender card one more time, guess what? Another 7% of blokes will disappear and it won't be replaced with 14% of women joining the party.